Hi everyone, welcome to the Muster Drill. I'm Scott. As you can see, it's a beautiful day at sea, but I will never sail from Norfolk again. Hi everyone, welcome back. So we're on our first sea day on the Carnival Magic. It's a great, wonderful day. The weather is beautiful. Stay tuned to see what's been happening around the Carnival Magic on our first sea day. But before I do that, I really just have to talk about why I will never sail from Norfolk again. Now, we've all been in a situation where we were getting on a cruise ship and things didn't run smoothly or there were, you know, difficulties getting on board. I've had a few of those myself. I get it. I understand. This was not like anything I had ever gone through ever before. I had read in the weeks coming up to this cruise that, you know, other people on the previous sailings had said that it was, you know, a nightmare situation, a terrible situation. And I took all of that with a grain of salt because I've been in these situations before. However, I believe that there is no way to adequately represent how horrible and terrible this experience was. So I'm going to be putting a Google map image up here. So when you see this image, you're going to see that on the left side of the image, there is a black line. That is Virginia Beach Boulevard. So this is where the line of cars started to turn right onto Monticello and then turn into the parking lot. The red line represents how far you had to travel through the parking lot before you got to where you paid, which was $90 for this six day cruise. The blue X represents where the first available parking spaces were, which were all the way back at the front of the parking lot. The green X underneath the down below at the opposite end of the parking lot below the red line, that represents where the uh, shuttle buses were, where you would go to drop your luggage and then you would stand in this incredibly long line, which I'm gonna be throwing an image up here that shows just a small part of that line, a really long line that you had to wade into. So that was like two hours and six minutes just to get into the parking lot. The shuttle ride was about, you know, I don't know, about five or 10 minutes. It wasn't very long at all. Now, if you were on that shuttle and you thought to yourself, okay, so the nightmare is over. No, actually not. Just phase one of the nightmare. Phase two was actually at the port. So I'm going to be showing some other video here. It's going to be pieced together. It's going to do a terrible job at representing how long this line was. And it definitely will not represent how slow this line moved. So when you finally got to the end of this line on the outside, you could take the elevators up or you could take the stairs up. But then there's this bridge that's up there and you may see the bridge in this video or so. Then, you, then the line started again on the bridge. So then from the time, so when you got to the end of the bridge and you were able to get into the building, at that point, there was then a line queue. Once you got through that, and you went through the metal detectors, then there was another set of line cues. I never found out what the problem was. I never found out why it took so long. It was just insane. So it took me six hours from the time I got in line at the parking lot to the time I was walking into my cabin. Six hours is excessive. It's beyond acceptable. There's just no reason why I need to sail from Norfolk and go through that kind of experience ever again. So I will never sail from Norfolk ever again. So here are some highlights from around the ship on our first sea day.
So I'm really enjoying myself on this first sea day on the Carnival Magic. So tonight's our formal night and we'll be in Nassau tomorrow. The captain came on the uh, announcement earlier and mentioned that we were about 300 nautical miles from Tropical Storm Alex and that the storm would be well past Nassau by the time we made it there. So hopefully tomorrow in Nassau will be a great day. Really looking forward to it. It's not like I haven't been there <laughs> recently. I was just in Nassau about two weeks ago on the Oasis of the Seas. I've been finding a new love for Nassau, getting off the ship and going out and exploring it and just enjoying myself in Nassau. So I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. You click it once and you're done and it'll really help us out a lot. And then don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.